Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm here with the victorious Jose Burton. Jose, I watched you doing the pads before the fight. A one to hook with Joe Gallagher. One to hook, one to hook. You're looking for it that whole fight. I was like, one to hook, one, and it landed. I mean, it's clear that was something you've been working on, wasn't it? Yeah, we've watched a fair bit of Liam. I've watched Liam since he's been a little boy in the amateur days. I've watched him as a professional. I watched him this morning having breakfast, you know. There, there was the punches to catch him. It was a cracking shot. I mean, like I said, you were drilling it and it paid off in the ring and stuff like that. So were you frustrated? Because the fight was going on. I seen you throwing the one to hook and it, it was landing some things, but it wasn't, it wasn't affecting it. You were just missing. Were you, get, were, you getting, were you getting frustrated? I was getting a little bit frustrated, but I, it would come. Listen, if I never got him with a one-two hook, I was going to get him with a jab right uppercut, left hook. Um, it's just what, what it was, wasn't it? It was, it was a decent fight. I got a lot of respect for Liam, I like him. You know, he's a family man, he's only doing it to better his family. Um, he say oh, he wants the British title, but I know deep down what he's doing is pretty much the same as me, fighting to better his family. Mm -hmm. And you've got to give a man to tilt your hat for that. Yeah, I totally agree. This was a, a British title eliminator. You mentioned to me yesterday at the round table that Craig Richards is the champion, but your belief is he's going to vacate, he's not going to fight you. Is that still your belief? Yes, I think. He, I just said this before in another interview, he, he gave Dimitri Bivol 12 good rounds. He's going to think his stock is higher than the British class. So he's going to vacate and he's going to try to get another big fight somewhere down the road. Um, and he's going to try to fall back on the British title if he doesn't succeed in what he's doing. That just opens up a vacant title for you and it looks like Dan Aziz, who's been the English champion, who's probably been waiting for his shot for that British title for a long time now. So. You don't care who it is, as long as you get your, your two-time British champion. Yeah, I don't care who it is. Listen, a fight's a fight. I don't care who a fight it is what it is. You just got to do the best you can. What does that mean for you, that British title then? I mean, you've, you've had it once. To, for it to win it outright, you've got to defend it now two times, I believe. Uh, is, is that your, your aim then, to get this British title, defend it and win it outright? Or, like I say, if, if a bigger fight comes along, we mentioned you mentioned Craig Richards and Dimitri Bivol. You know what I mean? That could happen to you. But what, what's your plans? I don't really know. I'd, lo I'd love to win it outright. Um, go where the money goes, you know. If it's the British title, so well and good, you know. It is. I don't really know. Whatever. I'm, I'm not. I'm not really that bothered. I'd love to win the British title and have it outright because no one's won that belt outright in a long, long time. So for me to do it, it would be lovely, and I, I would really like to do it. But if if it meant defending the belt for X amount or fighting somebody else for double the amount, well then you just go where the money goes. Like I said, it's going to be hard for you to defend that outright because like the, the division you're in right now, the light heavyweight division, domestic stacked. Callum Johnson, one of them, you know very well obviously. Lyndon Arthur, you've got Yard, Anthony Yard, you've got Joshua Boazzi, he's fighting Belotniks. You know what I mean? So your division right now is stacked with talent and I mean, you must be licking your lips because there's still big fights for Jose Burton. Yeah, there's big fights, there's plenty of big fights about and I'm glad now I'm in a position where I'm, where I'm getting them because for a good few years I was chucked out I, like I was the forgotten man in the division. I lost the British title to Frank Bullioni and I won nearly every round. He, he probably has won round 11 where he pushed me over and round 12 where he stopped me and knocked me out. Well, I wasn't knocked out. If you look at the finishing shots, he never actually hit me in the head. He, he, he was hitting me guard, but anyway, he done his job and won. But from then, I never had a chance at anything. The golden contract came about, which was like a great thing. But that was that was years later. I should have been within six or eight months having another shot at that British title. But your, your thoughts on Bawazi Balot next then? Do you have a, a thought? Uh, have you looked into that fight? Uh, and what's your thoughts on it? Yeah, Bawazi Bawazi wins quite easily. Um, uh, if you watch my fight against Bolotniks, that wasn't the real me. And that f I was slow, I was lethargic. Um, I won the first four rounds and then I hit a wall and I won the last round. So there's five rounds apiece. He had a big round nine, he beat me up round nine. Um, but I just think Boatsy will do what I did, but do it for a lot longer. You know, I, 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 I'm, I'm six foot four and I make 12 stone seven. I'm a big man, it, it, it's very hard, it's very hard to do it. And sometimes it's hard to make the weight. And I made the weight that night against Bolotnik, but if you look at me on the scales, 
I was just a skinny frame. You know, I had no shape and no strength about me. And I think lots of little things accumulated to be a big thing that night. Finally, a word on Tyson Fury. Wilder, you, Tyson's always came out and supported you. He was over in Latvia for your fight as well. So the big man, he's got his trilogy fight against Wilder. Your thoughts? Tyson's the man. Listen, the only thing will beat Tyson is, is a bomb, you know? And it'll have to be a good bomb as well. You know, Tyson's an unbelievable man. I think he's the best man who's ever walked on two legs. So that's a big statement. That is a big statement, but he's a big man. He, who can fight? So. Do you think he's going to do the same again against Wilder? Stop him? Yes, he will. Yeah. He, he, he had a couple of months, a couple of weeks even, perfecting that style, that Sugar Hill Crunk style. I tried a bit of it tonight, trying to be on the back foot. You go back to old habits, but I, I was trying to, because I went training with them for a good bit, and I tried to put the Crunk style into what I was doing, but. When you're in the heat at the moment, you, you, you sort of revert back to what you know. So, um, he's had a long time of learning this crunk style now and he's perfected it. And he is, he is the man. I won't keep you much longer. I know you want to get ready and prepare, get yourself ready and go and watch your gym mate Paul Butler. He's up next day. So, congratulations on your win and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.